As we told you last night, very few people across the country are researching guns and gun violence. That's because it's really controversial and thus really hard to get funded. Just ask this guy, Dr. Garen Winnemute. He's the director of the University of California Firearm Violence Research Center and one of the lead gun violence experts in the country. He spent roughly $2 million out of his own pocket to fund his research. I have been giving $300,000 a year. To this program? To this program. Wow. Now, Dr. Winnemute says his research is 100% objective. In fact, listen to this. The NRA, they don't like you? I'm a member of the NRA. Are I've been a really? member of the NRA for more than 30 years. Now, his research does include studying ways that gun violence can be reduced. So, we decided to sit down with him and have him break down some of the most common gun law myths, regardless of what side they may seem to support. First, would it help to close the so-called gun show loophole and require background checks at gun shows? My research demonstrated that, that probably wouldn't have a meaningful hmm. impact, and I made it very clear to the organizations that were promoting closing the gun show loophole that we were going to be releasing this, this information. There was pandemonium. Should people with a history of mental illness be restricted from getting guns? One of the most pervasive myths about firearm violence, mm -hmm. interpersonal violence, is that mental illness is the culprit, and that's just not true. And what about people with a history of violence? Among people who legally purchased firearms here in California, those with a history of convictions, multiple convictions for violent crimes were 15 times as likely to be arrested subsequently for murder or rape or robbery or aggravated assault. That is a huge difference. Would it help to arm teachers? I think that the numbers make it very clear that on balance, arming teachers uh, creates more risk than po potential for risk than for benefit. And lastly, what about the black market? If someone wants to get a gun, will they find a way regardless of the laws? Certainly there is a black market. Yeah. Um, but it turns out that by and large, the criminal gun market operates very inefficiently. Mm -hmm. And one of the beneficial side effects of regulating gun purchases is it makes that criminal market even less efficient than it is already. Now, a lot of you weighed in on the first part of our story that aired last night. We want to know what you think about this gun research. Go to our Facebook page, ABC10 TV.